Here we have two constant velocity carts, a red one and a blue one. The red one travels a bit faster. And what you can do is you can ask your students to observe the motion of this cart. Some of them may say it looks like it's traveling at a constant speed or constant velocity. And you can then ask them, well, how would you verify this? Uh, a great way to do this, and I'm going to actually end up using the blue cart because it travels a little bit slower, is to get a marker of some kind. Me, I'm using four bolts. Define a starting position, and once the car crosses it, have students yell out a constant time interval. And every one or two seconds, you would place one of these markers on the ground. Once these markers are on the ground, you can then analyze the distance traveled for each time interval. And if it is, in fact, constant velocity motion, that distance should be the same. You can then create a position versus time graph of these and find that it does create a straight line or a constant velocity graph as expected. Another great activity you can do with these is have students predict when these two carts will collide. It's a great practice for using systems of equations and it's another way to get things started. You just have to have a set distance between them. One word of caution when dealing with these is you want to make sure the wheels are allowed to spin at all times, otherwise you'll break the gearing. So what you should do is turn it on and hold it slightly above the table, let it go, and then when it turn it off, pick it up off the table first before flipping it off. That way the wheels are allowed to move the entire time.